Yo, what's going on guys? It's me back for another video. So in today's video, we have a very old game as you can tell by the title But it it, it has some potential in it. All right, so This game is fallout 1 now if you don't know I'm a huge fallout fan I have lots of fallout on this channel uh, Actually just got fallout 3 game of the year edition. So, you know expect videos on that um, But this is fallout 1 which is the classic which is very different very very different from the fallout we know today so, this is a turn-based game, right? So, that just get that out of the way. It's not a first-person shooter. So, the first part I want to get into is the map, all right? So, the map is relatively small. It's still pretty big for, like, you have to understand that it's the 90s. So, the technology we have today is quite literally, like, NASA computers to them. So, the map is pretty big, which I, I'm, like, okay with. It has, it doesn't have very many locations. I think it has like four or something. So don't expect a lot of locations, but at least the locations are like interesting and you can explore a lot of stuff. So that's cool. It's not hard. To, actually, it is kind of hard to navigate. So the map, it's all blacked out and you have to explore, which, you know, is the point of Fallout, which I like. So it, it could be, you can invest a lot of time into it, which I like. So the map's pretty good for a first Fallout in the 90s. So onto the game itself. So, obviously, it's a turn-based game, so it's not going to be for everyone nowadays, because turn-based games are basically a thing in the past, quite literally. So, the game is very slow and tedious, which, you know, it's just, it's, people can't handle it, alright? It's just too slow for them, which I can understand. It requires very strategic moves, how you play it and what you do. There's this thing called action points, which you use to move around, fight, and do stuff in combat. And it's in the bottom right, so for some reason, this is one thing to just point out. If you're using it to open your inventory, it takes up like five action points to do it, which I don't understand, but it just adds to the strategy, so you have to know when and where and what to do, which I like because it requires you to actually use your head and not just point and shoot at things, which, you know, that's always cool. So, that's there. Now, a thing is that with the enemies, the enemies, when I play up against them, it always seems like they have more points and more time to do stuff, which I don't like. So, mostly, I just run away in combat, like you see in the video. I just run away because, you know, that's me. I don't want to fight them. And I just wanted to get the game over with because, you know, not the biggest fan, but we'll get into it. So, that's there. Um, the story isn't the greatest for a Fallout game. I mean, it's from the 90s, I guess. If you don't know, you just get a water chip. That's about it. I'm not gonna, there's more to it, but I'm gonna leave that out. But, you know, it's also the first Fallout, so they weren't like, it, they didn't know what was gonna happen and what the series was gonna go on to. So, the story is pretty, it's not the greatest in Fallout, but it's there, I assure you. And one of the things that's gonna throw many, many people off is that you have to read a lot. So, Basically, there's like four to five people in the game that actually have dialogue that you can listen to Most people you have to just read everything and even with your responses you have to read but that's every fallout so You have to read which it's a lot and most people can't even handle it, which you know That's just you know the games we live in they want they want the reading to be read to them So that's there all around the game is very slow and tedious which most people aren't gonna like because they're so used to fast-paced like Fortnite shit so it, it took me about three hours to beat the game so that's one thing I like is that you, you could beat the game fast so it took me three hours but that's me not knowing how to play at all not knowing where to go and I just went around learned it and that that was it so it took me three hours to get it done which you know I like it since it's so short so that's one saving thing if you know how to do if you know how to do it you could probably get it done in less than an hour which i like like i'm pretty sure alex you know the guy in my last video i'm pretty sure he got done in like 30 minutes which you know pretty crazy like i'm pretty sure a speed one speed run for it is five minutes so it's it's a fast easy game to do which i like so it's not it's not gonna take you forever like fallout 2 which i'm not a fan of because not only is it more boring than the first one it's way longer and you know i'm not really trying to dish out 10 12 hours into that game you know no 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 disrespect it's still a great game but not trying to do that even though i have fallout 3 which i'm trying to do so anyway there's lots of lore for the fallout fans which i like 
you know, Oxhorn, a great YouTuber who does all Fallout. You should watch him if you're into Fallout, I swear. A lot of lore do done, to be done in Fallout 1, which I like. Overall, in the means of things, it's a good fast-paced game. Or not fast-paced, sorry, slow game. I said fast-paced, haha. And it's a little boring, which, you know, is a striker for most people. But, you know, it's one of those fun games that you can mess around with and enjoy yourself when you're, like, really bored and don't know what to play. And it's also a good streaming game for just a casual stream because, like, I could just feel like it's casual. And there's no radio like most Fallouts, which, you know, you just gotta get past. But the music in it is still good. It's really creepy. That's one thing I don't like. But, you know, it makes sense. You're alone in a wasteland. It's supposed to be creepy and all that. So, yeah. In 2019, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. So, good game. Yeah. And you know what? It's still better than Fallout 76. So, you know, hey, why not? <laughs> Anyway, that's been for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you don't have the game, I recommend you get it. It's like a dollar on Steam. It's probably like 50 cents worth of summer sale. So, that's been for the video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.